This first poem is called Ellie Telephony. Once there was an elephant who tried to use the telephant. No, no, I mean an elephone who tried to use the telephone. Dear me, I am not certain quite that even now I've got it right. However it is, he got his trunk entangled in his telefunk. The more he tried to get it free, the louder buzzed the telephy. I fear I'd better drop the song of elephop and telephong. Silly, isn't it? How about some tongue twisters that make you go blah, 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 and get all in a muddle? Here's the first one. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? You have a go. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Hmm. If three witches were watching three watches, which witch would watch which watch? Try that one. If three witches were watching three watches, which witch would watch which watch? How about this one? Red lorry, yellow lorry. Try and say it a bit quicker. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry this is one for any of you with any naughty doggies out there. If a dog chews shoes, whose shoes does he choose? If a dog chews shoes, whose shoes does he choose? There's a very famous comedian called Ken Dodd, and here's a tricky one for you. Can you say Ken Dodd's? See, I can't say it. Ken Dodd's dog. Ken Dodd's dog. Ken Dodd's dog. This is one of my favourites. Nowadays we have ketchup in squeezy bottles, don't we? But when I was little they were in glass bottles and it was really hard to get the ketchup out. You'd have to turn the ketchup bottle upside down over your dinner and hit the end and wait ages. So this poem is all about that. If you do not shake the bottle, none'll come and then a lot'll. 